got strange between the Jazz and the Suns last night. Let's watch. Booker. I mean, Chris got the ball back on his waist and could not finish. Could that be a sack in the fall? What was that? Uh-oh. Oh, come on now. Out of here. Ingles has to hold back. Marquis Chris. Cheap shot after cheap shot. So, Marquis Chris and Jared Dudley are upset that the referees didn't call a foul on Gobert when Marquis Chris jumped up in the air maybe hit bumped into Robert's hip a little Gobert's hip a little bit but certainly didn't seem like Gobert did anything malicious and then Dudley just kind of cross checks Rubio I have a lot of thoughts on this Jalen but I want to hear yours first well a few things took place in this situation number one the Phoenix Suns are lottery bound and they're frustrated by their lack of success this year yep. two Chris drove to the basket and went up weak didn't deserve a foul call. Yeah. And like you see so often in today's game, people either take it out on the officials or take it out on someone else who has nothing to do with the situation. And in this case, Ricky Rubio, who just leaped over him to try to take out the ball really fast. Yeah. He wasn't trying to disrespect him. Nope. So now when you're Jared Dudley, you see this. You, you are in the backcourt with Gobert, which means if the ball get past you, it's going to be an advantage to the offense anyway, a four on three, a three on two. So you might as well take a foul anyway because you clearly ain't back on defense. So now you get into a scrum in front of the bench, a hold me back type moment where people are huffing and puffing. And again, I joke a lot about the hold me back situations because while we're not advertising fighting, we hope to not advertise pretending to fight because when basketball players actually punch one another, that's undisciplined. And it costs you a lot of money, and you can break a hand, bust a finger, hurt your wrist. So in this, in this situation, if you're the Utah Jazz, you clearly have a lot more to lose, and so you have to find a way to restrain yourself, which they did. So we saw Jeff Teague. Remember Jeff Teague gave Rubio a little hip check, you know, when he was upset about a foul call? And now we have Jared Dudley, who wasn't even involved in the play, coming over and giving a hard foul. And then Marquise Chris comes in and pushes Ricky Rubio. Do you think players pick on Ricky Rubio because they perceive him as soft? Jared Dudley didn't wake up in the morning saying he was going to hip check Ricky Rubio. It just so happened in the spur of the moment, Ricky Rubio was the person that got the inbounds pass and was about to drive, dribble drive past him. If that would have been anybody, they would have got the same treatment based on that, based on that notion. Okay, so then riddle me this. After Dudley gets the hard foul on Rubio for reasons that you've explained, Marquise Chris comes over and then fully pushes Rubio to the floor. What was Marquise Chris's motivation for doing that? His motivation really was once you see your teammate is engaged, commits a foul, and has your back, you're almost hold me back obligated to reinvent, reconvene into the situation and make it a bigger <laughs> hold me back situation where a lot of people get a chance to huff and puff and smell each other's breath, and then you continue to play the game. Well, I appreciate you explaining that for us, Mr. Rose.